everyone. Today is a video by your request. I am doing my empties. I did throw a few things out, but I did manage to salvage almost everything that I've used up so that I can go over it with you today. If you like these types of videos, uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment, and give me a thumbs up. I do read all the comments. I do take um, note of the video requests that you make. I keep a little log. I'm gonna start the video with my collagen peptides. I ran out of this and you can save yourself some money by buying a larger size at Costco, which I already did. This is my repurchase. And now what I do is I just fill the little one and keep the little one in the kitchen. Vital proteins contain amino acids and there's 20 grams of protein in two scoops. This is relatively flavorless. It doesn't have any added sugar. So when I add it to my coffee, it doesn't alter the taste of the coffee. It comes in this collagen peptide formulation and there's another marine one for people who are vegan. I find that when I use this, I don't notice much difference, but when I stop using it, I notice that I have knee pain in my injured knee. So this is meant to be for skin, hair, nails, and joint support, and I definitely find that it helps with my injured joint. And does it help with skin? Maybe, but I use so many different things for my skin that it's hard to know where the benefits are coming from, to be honest. But I definitely know that I'm getting benefits for my joints, so this is something I will repurchase and I continue to repurchase and will definitely keep using. Now moving on to cleansers, I have quite a few cleansers I've used up. Starting off with my very favorite cleanser, which is the Zeo Skin Health Hydrating Cleanser. I've already repurchased this. There's a new one in my bathroom. This cleanser has a very light, citrus fragrance which i love but fragrance is very individual specific so what i might love you may not like but if you like citrus you would probably enjoy this fragrance and otherwise it's a great cleanser it removes all my makeup and it doesn't strip the skin it is full of hydrating ingredients it has glycerin sodium hyaluronate, it has um, urea and sodium PCA. So those are all hydrating ingredients. And it also has Alantuan for soothing properties. Now the urea um, is a humectant, but it depends on the concentration. It's also a keratolytic, meaning it helps break apart the connections between the dead outer skin cells. So it helps slough off the outer layer to reveal the fresher, newer baby skin cells. I should also mention this is a sulfate-free foaming cleanser. The next cleanser I threw away, but I did show it to you in my one of my skincare routine videos. I think it was my morning skincare routine and that is the Elastin Cleanser, and I'll put a picture of it right here for you. This is another uh, foaming cleanser that is sulfate-free, and it also has a lot of hydrating properties. It has vitamin B5. The Elastin Cleanser is also a very gentle cleanser, also a sulfate-free foaming cleanser, and it has oat kernels and oat beta-glucans, as well as panthenol, which is a vitamin B derivative, as well as bisabolol, which is a soothing property. Overall, this cleanser was very nice. It had a very, very subtle orange citrus fragrance, but anytime it got anywhere near my eyes, it stung my eyes badly. I don't usually have this reaction with any cleanser, and for that reason, I will not repurchase the Elastin Skin Cleanser. Another cleanser that I have in here is the Oxygen Infusion Face Wash by Skin Better Science. Uh, the company calls this cleanser a treatment cleanser because it has lactic, salicylic, and glycolic acid in here. So it's full of alpha hydroxy acids to help slough off and to breathe the outermost skin cell layer. It's meant for oily to normal skin, and it is an unscented foaming cleanser. For me, uh, I did enjoy using this. I didn't find it 
dried me out too, too much, but I do prefer a more gentle cleanser because I'm not really oily and I don't have acne and I do do the Zio getting skin ready. So I do a mechanical exfoliation anyway, and I get my acids from my complexion renewal pads, which is kind of like the toner step in my skincare. So for me, a gentle cleanser is enough, but I think um, this is actually a great cleanser for my son because he's a teen. So I think this would be great for acne and oily skin. Another product that I'm completely out of is the exfoliating polish by Zio Skin Health. These are blue magnesium crystals, which are totally gone. There's nothing left in here. Um, this is my favorite physical exfoliant. The magnesium crystals are very tiny. The physical exfoliation I find is quite gentle with this. And this also has antioxidant properties. It has glycerin and tea tree oil, as well as vitamin C esters. And it's just a lovely physical exfoliant that's gentle enough to use every day. So this I will definitely repurchase. I usually have two, one in the shower and one by my sink. So I still have one in the shower, but I need to get a new one. And following that, I always follow with the Zio Skin Health Complexion Renewal Pads. That is what they call getting skin ready or GSR, the cleanser, the exfoliation crystals and the complexion renewal pads. For a change, I thought I would switch it up and try the acne treatment pads. And these are quite strong. I will not repurchase these. I prefer the complexion renewal pad. And here's the difference. The acne pads contain 2% salicylic acid, glycolic acid, and mandelic acid. And the pads have a texture to them as well. So you're getting quite a lot of acid, alpha hydroxy acid on your face when you use the acne treatment pads. So the complexion renewal pads don't have mandelic acid and they have more soothing properties and a lower concentration of salicylic acid. So that's more for my skin. I'm not very oily. I don't need, and I don't have acne, so I don't need the intensity of the acne treatment pads. Let's do a neck cream. Um, I am going to do a video on neck creams because a few people have requested it, but um, for today, I'm going to go over the restorative neck complex by Elastin. And I think that by talking about this, you're pretty much going to know what I think about neck creams. Um, I will say that if you do have this, it isn't a pricey product. When you're out and the pump doesn't work anymore, you can actually open it up and there's probably a few more, a few more nights worth of treatment in here. So just to get every last drop out. This is um, by Elastin from their Trihex technology line. In other words, that this is a line that helps clean up the extracellular matrix. It removes the dysfunctional damaged collagen and elastin, as well as it stimulates growth factors that kick in the production of new elastin and collagen. They've done research to show that this trihex technology actually works. So this is a company I love. Um, now what's in the neck cream compared to for instance, the restorative skin complex, which I'm also out of and I'll talk about in a minute. Well, this is, how much do you get in here? You get one fluid ounce and here you get 1.7 fluid ounces. So this is more expensive and you get less in here, but it has much more trihex technology. So if you're willing to put this on your face and neck, you will get more of that collagen stimulation than you would with the neck cream. The neck cream has less of the trihex technology and more hydrators and more moisturizers. Our skin produces oil and sebum, our neck doesn't. So the primary difference between these two ingredients is that this one has less of those active ingredients that you want on your face and neck, but it has more hydrating properties than your face cream would. I did love this one. Um, if you can afford it, you're way better off using this on your face and neck and then adding an extra moisturizer for your neck if you're interested in doing that. 
but if you're on a budget and you want a neck cream i think this is a fantastic neck cream it's very light it's hydrating it it has no fragrance and it, i enjoyed using it now moving on to the restorative skin complex again same technology I absolutely love this hydrator and I will absolutely repurchase this. This entire line is phenomenal for post-procedure skin. That's sort of the what they engineered the line for and the primary focus. So, you know, the cleanser was okay, but these Trihex technology products are phenomenal. So this, as I mentioned, has a higher concentration of the Trihex technology than the neck cream and it's meant to be used if you've had a procedure you would use the skin nectar formulation which has no water in it and it basically functions as a skin barrier like vaseline or any petrolatum would except it has the trihex technology and it has a lot of ingredients that help the healing process once you've healed from whether it was microneedling a laser uh, radio frequency surgery whatever it is that you had done once you've healed well enough you don't need to continue using the skin nectar you can then switch to this and this is just a moisturizer so even if you haven't had any procedures done you can use this and this also uh, is formulated in an eye cream which is also excellent and you can really over time if you use this you can see improvement in crepiness and improvement in collagen and my favorite way of using these elastin products is with a retinoid because i figure that the mechanisms of producing collagen are different and so they really complement one another and so in the that i think it was my evening skincare routine when I was putting on my retinoids and I was saying what I would use if I had it, this was one of the products I would have put on, but I'm out of it and I need to repurchase this. Now let's talk about some Skin Better Science products. I've got an Alpha Ret Overnight Cream, I've got an Interfuse Face and Neck, and I've got Trio, which is another hydrator that I love. So let's start with Alpha Ret. As you know, if you're stuck on a deserted island, According to me, the only thing you need is a retinoid and sunscreen to keep your skin looking great. The Alpha Red Overnight Cream was the first retinoid product from Skin Better Science. And the way all the Skin Better Science packaging is designed is in a vacuum chamber with a nitrogen coating up on top, which prevents any oxygen or any air getting into the product. As you use it, it's always as though it's brand new and never been opened. This Alpha Ret is the overnight cream. It's the original. It contains 10% glycolic acid and the proprietary retinoid from Skin Better Science, which is called ethyl lactyl retinoid. And what it is, is it's a lactic acid molecule and a retinoid molecule bonded by two bonds. And the way it works is once it's applied to the skin, water and enzymes break up the bond and release the lactic acid which is an exfoliant and hydrator and the retinoid which then goes on to do all the things that retinoids do this has been tested and compared to a 0.25 tretinoin and it outperformed the tretinoin so it's a very good product and then it also has the glac uh, glycolic acid component which helps the exfoliation of the outermost dead skin cell layer i do really like this one and i currently have the clearing serum the, yeah the clearing serum which is an oil-free formulation designed for more acne and oil-prone skin. This is for normal skin, and this is absolutely um, my preference over the oil-free uh, form oil formulation. The ingredients in here, other than the lactic, glycolic, and retinoid, are glycerin for hydration, a sodium PCA, again, for hydration, ceramides, niacinamide, coenzyme Q, vitamin C ester, peptides. So there's a bunch of 
antioxidants and soothing properties in here. This has bisabolol, alantoin, and shea butter. So those are all soothing properties and hydrating properties. It's full of really great ingredients in addition to the retinoid properties. Okay, now let's talk about one of my other favorite hydrators. Um, this is the Trio Rebalancing Treatment. The primary function of this is to restore the skin barrier and hydration levels in the skin. This has four different types of ceramides. It has urea, sodium hyaluronate, and glycerin for hydration, salicylic acid, cholesterol, vitamin C, but the, the, but the primary ingredients, the primary focus of this moisturizer is really the four different types of ceramides and the hydrating properties, which are the glycerin, the urea, the sodium hyaluronate. So this is phenomenal also for post-procedure skin. And if you have a compromised uh, skin barrier, this is great. And yes, I will absolutely repurchase this product. Another Skin Better Science product is the Interfuse Face and Neck. This should be thought of as a serum and not a hydrator or moisturizer. The primary purpose of this is to deliver various peptides to help restore the dermal epidermal junction. This helps with the synthesis of collagen 1, 3, 4, 7, and 17. These messenger peptides are huge when they're measured in kilodaltons, so they don't usually, these types of peptides sit on the surface of the skin. They never penetrate the skin because they're too big. So Skin Better Science has come up with a technology that envelops these peptides in these tiny little lipid membranes and that way they're able to sneak through the cells and get to the deeper layers of the skin and help with the dermal epidermal junction. This is a really nice product and I do use this on my face and neck and I actually like to combine this with my um, retinoid for the neck um, but when I need more hydration I go in and add an, uh, an additional moisturizer. So this I will repurchase as well. I think that's it for skincare. And now I have two sunscreens that I, I've mentioned on previous videos that I've run out of. So you probably already know what they are. Um, the first one is the Skin Better Science Stick. This stick is sheer, as I've shown you before. This is completely empty, but if you just take a little bit out, it comes out white. And as it's blended in, it becomes completely clear. This is SPF 56, PA3+. It's got 80 minutes water resistance, 100% um, mineral sunscreen. The um, zinc oxide concentration is 10% and titanium dioxide 5%. I do love this one for its versatility and I'm sure I will repurchase it, but not in the near future because I have so many other sunscreens. And I like to use products up because the skincare expires and it's never good when it's very old. So now that this is gone, I will probably use up the rest of my sunscreens for the season and then next summer I'll purchase a fresh one of these. And this is my Compact by Skin Better Science. This is a lovely sunscreen. It's um, SPF 68 and a PA rating of 4+. Plus. This provides quite a bit of color. It gives a really nice light tan finish if you're, I would say, if your um, skin tone similar to me. Very, very fair Fitzpatrick type 1 people find this to be too yellow or orangey. And if you're a deeper tone, you may find that this is neutral and it maybe evens out the skin tone, but doesn't really give you any color. But it is a lovely sunscreen. Will I repurchase this? I would have said yes before the Color Science Flex came out. And now I honestly don't know if I'll repurchase this. I do love it, but it's just more work to put it on than a lotion out of a bottle that actually provides more coverage than this. The Flex is next level. It's basically foundation sunscreen. That is everything. Those are all the things I've used up. I haven't left anything out, I don't think. 
Let me know if you enjoyed this. If you did, I can do one of these again in the future. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.